Hi, my name is Aaron Frankel. Welcome to my blog at JerusalemExperience.com. We are now standing in front of the Church of the Olive Sepulchre, where Jesus is believed to have been crucified. The New Testament provides scant hints as to where Jesus' earthly existence ended. Biblical sources suggest that the site, called Golgotha, Aramaic for skull, or Calvary, was then outside of Jerusalem's old city walls, right next to a garden. The site of the church was declared as the place where Jesus was crucified almost 300 years later. The year was 325 AD. The Roman Emperor Constantine adopted Christianity as a legal state religion and sent his mother, Helena, to scout Jerusalem for sites relating to Jesus' life. Legend has it that when Helena reached Jerusalem, she was told there was only one old Jew who remembered the exact location of the Golgotha, and he directed her to a pagan temple. A brief excavation revealed an empty cave tomb and a cistern containing the remains of three crosses. The Romans crucified Jesus along with two thieves. Helena, who believed that the Romans built their temples over sites deemed holy to other religions, declared that this is the Golgotha site where Jesus was crucified, and since then, the site has changed hands many times. Since this is the holiest site in the Christian world, each stream in Christianity claims to be responsible for this holy site. Many churches put pressure on the Ottoman Empire to gain more control over the church. In 1862, the Ottomans declared that the status of the church would revert to that of 1767. We do not know why particularly this year, but this was the year the Greeks managed to take control of extensive areas within the church. The status quo has remained unchanged to this day. An illustration of this sensitive situation is the small ladder placed under the window over there. In the past, it is believed that this ladder used to bring food to the Armenian monks who were locked inside by the Turks. Now, this ladder is still there since 1767. Today, the care over the church is shared by no less than six denominations. The primary custodians are the Greek Orthodox, Armenian Apostolic, and Roman Catholic Church, with lesser duties shared by Coptic, Ethiopian, and Syriac Orthodox churches. The whole church is carefully parceled into sections, some being commonly shared, while others belonging strictly to a particular sect. The Church of the Holy Sepulchre is the holiest site in Christianity, more so than the Basilica of St. Peter in Rome or the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem. However, it is not particularly beautiful or impressive. On the contrary, it has been marked by 2,000 years of earthquakes and fires, deliberate destruction, and natural wear and tear. To my opinion, this decor is better suited to immortalizing the Passion of Jesus. In my next video, we will be visiting the last five stations on the way of the cross inside the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. I welcome your comments and suggestions to this video. It is essential for me to understand what my viewers are interested in and how I can improve my blog. That's it for today, and until we meet again in my next video, let's all live the Jerusalem experience.